What's up guys, in today's video, we're gonna be continuing or actually finishing our branding for the Night Flare brand that we created back in a previous video. In the last two videos, we have created the webcam border and the just chatting scene. Today, we're gonna be finishing it with the starting soon and be right back scenes, creating these. Let's get into it. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I am your content cleric. Around here, we create videos just like this to help you level up your stream on a budget. From simple tips, pro hacks, I've got you covered. Let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up canva.com. If you don't have an account, go ahead and create one. Depending on the elements you wanna use, you may or may not need Canva Pro, but either way, I've got you covered. Down in the description, you'll find a free code that'll get you 30 days of Canva Pro completely free. So use it, make whatever you need for your stream, follow some other tutorials, do some epic stuff, and then it's up to you if you wanna keep Canva Pro after that. So now that I have this open, I have my previous branding already opened. I have my logo including my logo mark then I have my camera border and I have my just chatting scene now if you want to see how to make any of these I do have previous videos just go back to the channel and find them they should be within the last few videos so we're gonna be moving on to making a just chatting scene and if I'm completely honest I'm gonna make this incredibly simple again I've already created branding components no reason to remake the wheel. So we're gonna use our just chatting scene as the base of our starting soon slash be right back scene. So I'm just gonna hit the plus sign here. And now I have a copy the plus sign that right there just means I duplicated this page. I have a copy. Now, I don't wanna really change anything. I wanna keep this exactly the same. So when I go from starting soon or be right back to my face cam, my just chatting scene, all that changes is the background goes away and I'm in that its place. I'll show you that whenever we put this into OBS later and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I'm really gonna keep all of these elements. I'm gonna keep the gold border. I'm gonna keep the night flare name. I'm gonna keep these little chess icons. I'm gonna keep all of that. What I wanna do is change the background color to a dark color. So if I click right now, you can see it's giving me the lock icon because I have the gold border locked because it's the top most layer right now. What I can do is I can click here and hold down control and click again, and it will click the background. Now with the background selected, I'm gonna click that and I'm just gonna change it to black. This is the color I'm using in this branding here. I'm using black, white, and gold. Those are my three brand colors. And so I've made it black. Now, a lot of different things that I can do. You can see over here on the left side, I already have elements kind of pulled up. What you'll probably see is something like this, but Canva actually has a lot of really cool elements on there. So I'm gonna click elements and let's say we're doing the starting soon one. I'm just gonna type in starting soon. I'm gonna go to all or graphics is what I wanna be seeing. Okay. Here we go, this is the one I wanna use. So I'm gonna delete this one from behind. I'm just gonna center it on the page and I wanna change my colors so that we can see them. The pink, I wanna go with gold so the gold's kinda of in the middle and I'll make this one white, just like that. And now I'm just gonna size it and there we go. So that is a really good start. Now I do want something in the background. I agree this looks a little bland. Let's see what we can do about that. Let's go with chess because that is the theme. That is what Night Flare plays. He is a chess player these two individuals playing chess against each other. And I think this is what I wanna do. Something kinda of like this. Position into back, drop our opacity, like 10%. I think that kind of, it fills up the image. It shows you're kinda of playing chess against each other. And looking at it, I think I can even drop the opacity a little more. About 7%, I wanna be very subtle. Let's look up some like texture. So if we just type texture, we're gonna get kind of all sorts of ideas, right? Like this, I actually think it looks really cool on the words. It doesn't fit this brand. It does not fit the Night Flare brand, but I think it looks cool on the words, just adding that texture to it. Let's see. Yeah, this one, I like this one. So put this in the corner like this. We will position, send to back, drop row pass on this one to about 10%. You know, it kind of brightens up the background image that I have. Brightens it up back here and it gets darker as it goes forward. I think that looks really cool. And no, so now I'm trying to click. Okay, there we go. Now that I've found it, I'm gonna alt drag it over, flip, horizontal, vertical and then position it in the corner of this side too. So I feel like it just gives you a little bit of like contrasting texture for me. It feels a little bit more professional, looks a little bit better. Now I would call the starting soon screen done. Maybe I lower this down just a hair, something like that. I would call this starting soon screen done. Beautiful, right? Now let's make a copy of it. Again, we're gonna click duplicate page. We're gonna keep everything exactly the same. The starting soon screen back scene can be identical. So we're gonna delete that. Obviously you have different words, so not that identical. And we're just gonna type in be right back, right? And see, we're gonna see, we're getting plenty of these already. And I can go white, 
go gold. This already feels like it fits the Nightfire branding. I feel like it maybe moves just a little too much and a little too fast. So I think we'll go with this one. I'll drag it down till at its first biggest size, it kind of fits the sizing of this at least a little bit. That looks pretty good to me. White, gold, and make sure we centered. And then just about like that. Okay. And just like that, I would call our be right back starting soon scenes completely done. Let's export them and put them in to OBS. All right. We're going to hit share, download. We do not want them as a PNG. A PNG is what we had before on all our other ones. We want to download them as an MP4. Now, don't be like me. I always mess this up. We do not want all pages. We only want to download one page at a time. If you download two pages at a time, it puts them together into one long video. And we don't want that. We want two individual video files. So I'm going to download page four, hit done, hit download. Okay, now that that first one is done, we're going to hit share, download, and we'll download the next one. Now, I'm not going to because for the tutorial, I only have to show you how to do one of them because both of them work, work exactly the same. But now that I have that done, I'm going to open up my OBS, create the new scene, and then go to plus. And instead of going to image, which we've used for our other ones, we are now going to go with a media source. And you can name it whatever you want. I think media source is just fine. I'm going to go to browse and go to my downloads and download this one. This is where I accidentally downloaded them together. So we're going to click right here. And then we want to make sure that we turn on loop so that it will just continuously play through its cycle and hit OK. And just like that, we have our starting soon screen. And pretty much until we decide to go live, it's going to look just like that. But the reason I kept everything exactly the same between it and our, our just chatting scene is because now when I click it, it just fades away. And then we're back here, right? Just like that, we have our starting soon screen. Now, the reason I kept our borders identical, literally exactly the same, is because I thought this transition was going to be really cool, is when I transition from one to the other, it should look like just the background changes. And just like that, it's just the background that changes. And I have a, a simple fade transition. I could go to like a cut transition and it's just gonna cut back and forth. But I think the fade looked really good that it looks like everything is staying the same and just the background changes. Anyway, I thought that fit the Night Flare branding really well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've missed any of the branding sections of this, you wanna learn how to make anything individually, make sure you go back and look through our other videos. We have tutorials on creating every piece of this branding. So make sure you go back and watch those. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. We're gonna be making a lot more videos just like these. And if you want to, follow me over on Twitch. I stream three days a week, really late at night. So if you're a night owl like me, come over and hang out. I've been enjoying playing some Baldur's Gate 3. So I hope to see you guys over there and I'll see you in the next one.